this is a really good example in the homework because what it's really assessing is how well you understand the vocabulary of section 12.3, measures of central tendency. So let's look at these examples. The first question asks, what is the most common salary? Most common is referring to the mode. So another way of asking this question, question number one, the most common salary is, the, uh, another way of asking that is, what is the mode? And the mode is simply 515. So we can see that that is in fact the correct answer for the first question, the most common salary is 515. The next several questions are really assessing whether you understand what the quartiles mean. I've written a, sh a short number segment and I've included quartile one, two, and three. Now what these quartiles mean are that 25% of the data, just like a quarter is one fourth of a dollar. A quartile is one fourth of the data. So each of these little segments divided up by the quartiles is going to represent 25% of the data. So 25% of the salaries will range from zero to $460. 25% of the salaries will range from 460 to $565 and uh, so on. So 25% for 565 to 635 and 25% from 635 up to whatever the top salary is. So the salary that half of the employees salaries surpass is the quartile two, which is also the median. The median is the number in the middle and that's the 565 so that median is where half of the data falls to the right of the median, half falls to the left of the median. So the salary that half of the employee's salary surpass is 565. Now the percent of employee salaries that surpass 635, when we see that 635 is quartile three, we can see that that's got, uh, there's only 25% of the employees that are making more than $635. So the percent of the employee salaries that are surpassed is each of these three quartiles, 25, 25, and 25, or in other words, from uh, the bottom up to quartile three is 75%. So 75%. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm reading that wrong. I'm looking at why is it saying 25%. <laughs> it's uh, the salaries that surpass the 635. So uh, that is this 25 that we started with. So 25% surpasses the $635 mark. And then the employees, uh, let's erase these ones we've got. The percent of the employee salaries that were less than 460 now that less than 460 is this amount right here. And since quartile one is at 460, this is gonna represent 25% again. The percent of employees that uh, salaries that surpass 721, for that question, we're gonna use the 89th percentile, right? The 89th percentile is 721 and what that 89th percentile means is that there are 89% uh, of the salaries are below $721 and 100% minus 89%, which would be 11%, 11% of the salaries are above the 721 mark. So that's 11%. And finally, the last question, if the company has 100 employees, the, then find the weekly salary of all the employees totaled up. 
we could use this formula, x bar is equal to the sum of all the salaries divided by the number of employees. Or in other words, 575, which is given as x bar or the mean, is equal to the sum of all the salaries divided by the 100 employees. Another way to read this question is to read it as uh, when right here in the um, between the blue arrows when n is 100 when there's n is 100 so there's 100 employees and the x bar or the mean is 575 dollars find the summation of all the x's or the total of all the salaries and the way we could approach this is cross multiplying so 575 times 100 would give us the sum of all the x's. That wraps up this activity. I hope that you found this helpful. And please let me know if you need some further help with understanding some of this terminology, the percentiles, quartiles, mean, median, and mode.